Hey there, everyone. Tara Lombardi with Pieces of Terror Artistry. I'm really excited to share with you guys finally that I am going to be one of the teachers at the Fluid Art Experience once again. Uh, it is going to be such a fun time in Asheville, North Carolina, May 23rd through the 25th. So it's going to be that, that Thursday, Friday, Saturday before Memorial Day. I'm really excited about the venue because I have only driven through Asheville and it looks beautiful, but I've heard that it's just a really fun city. So I'm really excited about that as well. I'm doing three different techniques this time. So I will be doing the bloom technique. So we'll be doing some deconstructed blooms and some bloom blowouts. Um, I will be doing the pearls again. So I'm specifically going to be featuring the peacock pearls in one class how to layer our paints with the transparents versus the opaques to be able to get those beautiful peacock pearls. And also I'm gonna be doing a pearl class that is going to um, combine some different techniques like a flip cup or a Dutch pour, just to show how we can use different techniques to kind of ramp up our pearl paintings. And then lastly, I am going to be doing something that's totally new for me um, to be teaching. I've been experimenting a lot lately and having a really good time with texture and structure. So you've seen some of my structured pieces uh, in the last couple of months, I've been experimenting with texture as well. So I'm really excited to be able to, to teach that. Uh, we're going to look at um, just uh, being able to, number one, if you want to do just a complete uh, art piece with just texture, you can do that. If you want to combine your other techniques of fluid art with the structure, how to do it, how to be successful in doing it. So I'm really loving trying this different mixed media art. So uh, I will have two of those classes as well for you guys. So each artist is gonna be teaching two classes a day. They're three hour classes. So there will be a chance for you all to take six different classes from Thursday through Saturday. Um, there is going to be some evening events, the meet and greet where you get to hang out with the artists and your other fellow classmates. It's a really fun evening. And then also the gala dinner, which is going to have a silent auction. It's going to have a raffle. It's going to have a question and answer session. So that's always a fun evening as well. On the 18th, November 18th, the website goes live so you can start purchasing tickets there. Uh, for your classes and then as well it's nice too that where the venue is all the events are going to be as well as the classes and then our accommodations so uh, there's going to be discounted room rates on the website for that as well so i'm really excited to be able to be a part of this again it's a wonderful event and it's just really a lot of fun to be with the students and the teachers. So this is one that we're gonna be doing today. I'll show you here. Um, it is a lot of fun to do these textured pieces. And so this is one that I was really having a good time playing around with the texture. And this is what you're gonna see today. So I really hope you guys enjoy it and I really hope to see you guys at the Fluid Art Experience next year. Okay, so here is the joint compound that I use. Uh, it is an all-purpose joint compound, uh, and I try to take it and mix it in the container a little bit before I scoop it out into its own separate, smaller container because once I put it in this smaller container, I try to mix it up and then I add in some just titanium white paint, uh, pretty much any white paint that I have around. Uh, I just squeeze in a bit. Uh, I don't measure how much I put in, I just squeeze in a bit. 
and mix it all up, up really, really good. Try to incorporate it throughout the whole um, amount in there. And then uh, I will show you here. This is the consistency. It's just a very creamy consistency is what you're looking for. Now, there are kind of some differing viewpoints on whether or not adding the acrylic paint helps in keeping from cracking or hinders it. So I'm going to be kind of testing this out a little bit more. This one I did, but I do have another joint compound that I'm going to be trying. I've tried a few different ones, so they there is advantages to different uh, compounds. So I will be sharing that in some future videos, but this is just the mixture. This is, I'm sorry, I can't talk. This is just the mixture that I used on this one. So here I'm just spreading it out uh, and adding some background texture. And it really wasn't worried too much about the, the texture that I had in the background because I was kind of planning on um, sanding it down a bit, kind of smoothing it out once it's dried. So here I'm just adding in the, I added in the trunk with my palette knife. And then now I'm just kind of uh, mapping out with my palette knife the palm fronds and where they're going to be. The first one you can see pretty well, but the rest of them it's kind of harder to see because I use the side of my palette knife but you will definitely be able to see once I start going here. And I think that that's kind of, it's almost like a pencil outlining, just kind of showing where you're going to be adding in your, um, your, your leaves and your palm fronds. So I show you here a little bit slower and then I will, um, kind of speed this up to show you um, the how I complete it uh, in a faster version. I will go ahead and sand it once it's dry. I sanded the background and then I painted it with just, I used um, some titanium white fluid paint by Golden and just a house paint for the palm tree that I had left over from actually my living room. I kind of whitened it up a little bit more with the titanium white. So I'm going to let you guys watch the rest of this. I'm really happy you're here. I hope you like this. If you do like it, please let me know uh, so uh, I can continue to give you content that you guys enjoy and that you want to see so thank you all for being here and i'll see you guys on the next one